We will be talking about it, what, oh, three, yeah. three months or so now? We'll yeah, talk about right. snow? Yeah, let's hope. Three months. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now, though, temperatures right. today, 77 Beautiful. degrees. For We've got 80s in the forecast mm -hmm. as we go through the week ahead. Wow. It's all going to catch up to, to us eventually. You know how this works. There's going to be a but that comes along at some point. But, but for right now, it's all good. We've got clouds out there with a clear sky behind it. That's pretty normal, actually. Partly cloudy skies through the evening and temperatures fading back into the 60s as we get into the late night hours. Look at the temperatures right now, friends. It is still 79 degrees at Canton and, of course, in tropical Dover. But it's a little cooler in our western lakeshore areas. That's that northeast wind coming off of the lake. And also, there's what's known as a trough that is sitting right over northeast Ohio. Basically, in this case, it's not a change in air mass. It's just a change in wind direction. So we have the northeast wind coming off the lake, southeast wind that's continuing to pump in the heat. Eventually, the southeast wind is going to win out. But that same southeast wind is still helping to hold our humidity up. Man, the dew points are sitting in the mid and upper 60s. Very muggy conditions out there. That's not going to be changing, unfortunately. We're going to stay on the humid side as we head through the next week or so. It's not until probably... 10 plus days from now that we get a lot of relief in the form of some dry air. All right, so we get the sunshine, we have the humidity, we get a little pop up shower chances and indeed that has been the case. What goes up must come down when there's no upper level support and that is generally what we've been seeing in areas farther south. Just these little showers living their best life and then they fade away uh, and that will continue to move up toward the Belleville area, probably hitting up into Mansfield, maybe as far north as Shelby, but I think for the most part that one is on the outs. Here's why big upper level low. This is the same one we've been talking about for several days and we're still going to talk about it for several more days to come because all of our push, all of our energy is shooting up into Canada. And that means this thing is just going to lift north very slowly. And as it does so, you can see all the showers and thunderstorms off to the south that drags right over us. And that same humidity that we are going to be holding on to is all banked down in the southeast. So steady as she goes as far as the forecast. Here's a look at your Union Home Mortgage hour by hour. You can see the clouds staying with us. A little fog here and there tonight, but the temperatures in the upper 60s in the midnight hour. Early morning, we're still in the 60s. We have a lot of cloud cover around. We'll pull in some shower chances as we get into the heat of the day, and I do mean heat. We're going to be right back into the 70s across most of the area. Scattered shower chances getting a little bit better each day as that upper level low begins to swing to our west. We will have some breaks here and there, so it's not a washout, but this is some really toasty weather that we're going to be holding on to. Here's your Union Home Mortgage Outlook, and look at this. Temperatures in the mid-70s Friday, Saturday. That's because of the rain. If we didn't have the rain, we'd be considerably warmer even into the latter part of the weekend and then once we get into early next week temperatures still holding steady in the low 80s certainly not what we would typically see in October we know we've had much worse in like September before so just enjoy it because you know we're going to pay for it at some point Russ yeah well, many of us like it when that Betsy Kling has a forecast like that <laughs> every now and again it all works out right there you go thank you